she thought it was okay to get treated bad. It was to her knowledge, it was not getting treated exactly. bad. She was normalized. It's a blind, by yeah, she was it's normalized. A blind spot. By. Like you have to experience like that stuff. Yeah. It, <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Yo, my name is Ricky Fontaine. This is Side Do Services. How are everybody doing today? Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Amazing. It's your oh, boy, Point. You said what? I thought what? we were going down. Yeah, I'm just talking. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, man. Yeah. All right. Somebody let me know. You said, how we doing? I'm on point. Yeah. Point. Got you. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy, Geek Solo DJ, the one and only from the MD <laughs> to the VA. And to my right, I got two new guests. Um, please re Please introduce yourselves. This your boy Dab Daddy. I'm here from Virginia Beach, sitting on the set with the Side Dude Services. I'm here with my homegirl Kim. What's up? What's up? So I'm Kim. I'm from here, kind of sorta, not really from Georgia, but I stay out here in Virginia, and I'm ready to get it. So this y'all time right now before I start plugging my shit. I need y'all to plug y'all shit. So tell me y'all Instagrams, what y'all got, what y'all got going on, what y'all about, what y'all do, like promote yourself. This your boy, Dab Daddy. Catch me at, at Dab underscore Daddy, 757. I DJ out here in the 757, you know. Find me on Instagram, you know. Um, I'm somewhere everywhere. You can find me at the Red Roof Inn, tricking every now and then. You can, find, you can find me on Skip the Game, you know what I'm saying? Okay. All of that go hand in hand with the side dude service. We're going to talk about it that way. Okay, okay. Well, you can find me on IG at Millionaire Kimmy T. Um, on Facebook at just Kimberlyn Thomas. I know that's hella lame, but hey, whatever. You can find me there. Um, so I am in the military. I also do uh, have my own financial literacy business. So I'm like working that right now, helping people trying to get to the back. And yeah, that's me. Okay. okay. Be at the Red Roof too. No, you won't catch me there. Uh, Holiday Inn? Yeah, it's probably be at like the Hilton or there something. There we go. Know, there right. we go. Okay. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's more my style. That's more okay. my style. More scales. You know. Checking. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Classy. Mar I keep it classy. Yeah. Marriott. <laughs> Courtyard. 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 Yeah. You know, because it's like classy, but, you know, you can still get some stuff done. Man, for real, for real, I want to shout out to everybody right now. Catching this exclusive on the Patreon. We really respect y'all. We love all y'all. If you want to become part of our Patreon crew, it's $2 to be a member. It's $2 for life. It's not $2 a month. And you get exclusive to all that shit. Um, that's patreon.com slash I do services. We expect everybody that's buying the merchandise too. Our salesman's rising up. I fucks with, I fucks with all y'all. Catch the hats, catch the t-shirts, catch the, uh, the shorts and stuff like that and the hoodies. I fuck with all y'all. Also, uh, shout out to everybody listening to us right now on Spotify. Shout out to everybody listening on Apple Podcasts. Shout out to everybody listen, watching this right now on YouTube. Um, if you're watching this on something else, I don't know how you how you did it, but shout out to y'all. Because y'all the drill truth, y'all bootleg and shit. I fuck with y'all. Yeah. 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 Ain't that wrong with it. Yeah. Have you ever had a partner that you held to an unrealistic goal? So like, you know how, especially girls, they like to put guys on this high okay. pedestal and think we're Superman and we could, you know, we could do this and we could do that and, y and then we let y'all down and y'all mad at us, but y'all shouldn't put us on this high pedestal in the first place. <laughs> so have you ever held your partner to an unrealistic goal before? Um, yes, yes I have. So this, that's crazy. This is actually my last relationship. So I, you know, it's hard when you're in a relationship and you have goals, you know, you have things that you want to do. Maybe your partner not feeling that or maybe they not like on the same level. And so it's like easy to expect them to get on that same level with you, right? Expect them to do the things that you want to do, expect them to be on board. But it's like at the end of the day, they their own person. Like they might not be into the stuff that you into, right? And so I, at first, I'm just like trying to get them to be into what I'm into. And obviously that ain't work. So I have done it before, but you learn. You live and you learn. You live and you learn, you know? Yeah, I've done the same, man. Uh, my ex, like you said, I held her, you know, to an unrealistic goal. And uh, I would never do it again. Because one thing about it that I learned from that situation, can never count a female out. You know what I'm saying? They're going to they gonna, gonna come through with it. So, yeah, I, I have been through a situation like that. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You that's saying just, what, that's your it? way? That's just our way. He's nagging. I'm, no, I'm no, not, I'm not. I'm not far off. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not I saying see. nagging so much, but I think it go hand in hand though. Because you might be pushing a person, and the average guy be like, "Yo, she just nagging. She just nagging me." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the whole time you're just pushing that person. So Perspective. You know, like personal just perception. Pers- yeah. 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 Have okay. you ever compared your relationship? To some of the relationships around you. Hell yeah. Yes. Who yeah, don't? Yeah. Who don't do yeah. that? Relationship goals. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Hashtag do it right now. Relationship goals. Exactly. 175 mutual. But why? Like, you know, like that's that's set unrealistic standards on y'all. It's not realistic. Okay. That's my goal. How else would you know? <laughs> what you, how else would you know what you want if you don't look I at? I mean, if like, you how want you if know? you want Brad and Brad wants you, that should be enough right there. You yeah. shouldn't want what uh Kim and Diara, Ken and Diara got. I'm just saying they out there making it bad together. That's all I'm gonna say. They ain't making it bad together, but, but no, they making you, you, it that's their true. way. That's true, but it's like you can't say you you honestly don't want something. If like, how else would you get any type of opinion about anything if, if you don't Your look at other stuff? Like, opinion, like, opinion that but where does my opinion come exactly. from? Your and God. Where does it come yeah. from? Where does my opinion Buddha come from? Other people, I don't know what you're crazy. I'm just saying, but yeah, <laughs> whatever yeah. your whatever your thing is, <laughs> but just like, where do your opinions come from? You tell me. So, like, how do you know? How do you know? Why does your opinion come off of social media? Why does your opinion come off your friends? It's just your environment in general. It could be family. It's what you see. That's how you make an opinion. I see somebody getting treated dirty. I'm like, I know for a fact that's not how I want to be out here getting treated. Like, that's just how my opinion comes. So, if I come from a broken home, I compare that relationship to a broken home. That's why most relationships fail. That's where they come from. That, that's what they. That's all they know. That's all they saw was the broken relationship. So th- that's all they got to go off. I was like, yeah, I don't want that. Why can't I love? I love uh, Jasmine. Jasmine loves me. We just need to focus on us too. Yeah, yeah. everything else you is should. a blur. I mean, nah, fuck that. So the way I feel about it. Why you keep being dismissive? I'm here. I'm here. Anytime you say, yeah, it's just shut down. I'm not hearing no. So. I feel like shit like that, if you just, I feel like that's people being lazy. Cause like the way I look at it, like, so you know, they call me like the date guru, like shit like that. Because I'll find, I'll make shit happen that people don't know can happen in this area, right? So like people be like, oh, I wanna ride elephants or some shit like that. You they be like, people, people see me like, that's an unrealistic goal. I went on, I went online and I found a way for me and my girl to go ride elephants. Mm-hmm. And it's in Virginia. Like the shit's not bad. But, it's not but what I'm saying is, that's cool and all. But if I got to keep coming to you for that, then I don't really love Jasmine. At the end of the day, Jasmine and my love for Jasmine should motivate me enough yeah. to find that date, to yeah. find those outlets that she likes to do. Exactly. Nothing around me matters. Exactly. I should have complete tunnel vision and say, I want love for her. I have love for her. We need to stop comparing exactly. this, that, and the third. So you don't think that yeah. you can get like your inspiration for what you want from other somebody else? That's like, what I'm. That's I'm, what I'm, I'm saying. I'm saying the inspiration part. Like, yes, your relationship is only your relationship. What else? Everybody else thinks, say, do that don't matter. Don't, but don't inspiration, do, how do you that? We measure yeah, up. I, I, we so I, 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 I don't make no goddamn sense. One more reason. One more reason. We don't take. It's different from like us writing a song. We I take his hook and that inspired me to make a better hook. No, we take it as a measuring tool. Where you get where you get the idea to write a song? Jasmine says, "Oh, they wrote elephants. Why don't you take?" Me to ride elephants. Yeah. Now nah, I don't like the best. Right. 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 Let's try, try one to more. keep right. up, one more man. thing. One more thing. Yeah. Right. Trying to one more keep thing. Up. So, yeah. all right. So, That's crazy. this girl wants. This girl wants something. The girl used to mess with, right? So she told me that all the all dudes she ever messed with treated her a certain way. Like so, they were treating her to her standards. She thought they were treating her how men treat women, right? Then she got in an isolated environment, and then another man came into her life and was treating her like. Different. Like, like the best thing in the world. Mm-hmm. And her, and then once that happened, she's like, "What the fuck? I've been getting dogged all my life because everything around me has been like that, and all the niggas that's been coming at me has been like that. But now I'm out, I'm out that environment, and I'm in a new environment. She, she, if she, because she wasn't, because the people around here was all getting treated bad, she thought it was okay to get treated bad. It was to her knowledge, it was not getting treated exactly. bad. She was normalized. It's a blind, by yeah, she was it's normalized. A blind spot. By. Like you that have to experience like that stuff. Yeah, it, <laughs> <laughs> I did. Yeah. Like a follower. But that being said, I just feel like, like why? Are you, oh, because I get treated bad and my friends get treated bad. She didn't look. She didn't know it was getting treated bad. How was she supposed to know she better? She didn't know. That's all she know. That's all she ever seen. 
If I've only ever been treated bad my entire life, how am I supposed to know what it feels like? Her dad treat her mama like shit. Like, like you have to experience that love stuff. Love hurts, man. You gotta just Shut keep trying. Man. Love don't hurt. Man. Love don't hurt. Get yes out of here. No. Right. Finding love, love don't hurt. Easy. Love should be easy. But it's not. It's not. It's it's not. not. Hell no. That's maybe maybe like, y'all. You got, you maybe got that's dating. the wrong kind of love. You could literally nah. go on an app store right now, What's and up? there's there's dating apps going on miles. Yeah. Because it's so hard to find love nowadays. Quote love, love is not easy though. Love should be. Love, it should love, be. It it's should not, be. It's not. It's, you, you're, not, not you're not gonna it gain. It should come. It should just. Why should it, it come? should flow? To, I should. I shouldn't have. I don't believe that I should have to like. Be adamantly out there looking for it. Go no. find me. Bills come. I, I mean, I believe that. It's Bills gonna, like, come. It Your flow birthday easily. comes. Love don't come like that. It do. It's, 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 it it's, come, it's, it's challenging. It's, it's, it's a challenge. Yeah. I, I hear you. Yeah, I but, but I agree with you though, bro. As far as you shouldn't compare, you know, your relationship with others. I feel like you should. If you got your partner, y'all should create your own lane. You know what I'm saying? And go from there. As far as like trying to follow what somebody else doing or another couple doing, I don't think that's gonna work because that's gonna always come up. You know what I'm saying? If y'all, yeah. you know, I it's gonna always saying. come up. It's, it's like, oh, well, there's levels to this. Exactly. I get you. I, I get I you. I get you. I can't go with that right there. I get you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Agree, you, disagree. How big is compromising when it comes to relationships? Most important. Yeah. Most important thing. Ne- right next to communication. There's. But people I mean, don't compromise. And that's why a lot of people ain't out here in the best relationships that they need to be. be I mean, so people need to love should be easy, but compromising is a part of loving somebody. Like you already know, y'all two separate people, right? You're not gonna agree with everything. You're not gonna have like the same opinions about a lot of stuff. But if y'all love each other, compromising should be easy because you know, at the end of the day, you want to be with that person. So compromise should be nothing. It should be, should be nothing. I mean, I believe it too. I think compromising is like. It's, it was hard for me. Well, it was hard for me to compromise. I used to ask compromises all the time. Mm-hmm. And then that's why I'm a slut now because oh. I can't <laughs> live life. How much compromise is too much compromise? That's a fact. How much compromise is too much compromise? It's like, dang, I'm, I'm damn near a new person at this point. <laughs> so hey, like, what's, what's, what's going on? I don't know. Then they say you can't change no man? That's what they say. They say you can't turn a whole entire housewife. Exactly. exactly. We always trying to do that. <laughs> yeah, it's facts. facts. Yeah. <laughs> facts. Have you ever looked at your significant other as a superior or inferior, for that matter? Superior. Have you, have you, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> My name King Solo. You know. As, <laughs> I mean, have you ever felt inferior? I mean, you could compromise too much and just automatically. Feel shackled, mm. like yo, you you just got it, or you could. Some women like that shit though. They like feeling like they beneath. I don't know why. Oh, you you not you not no, like that? No, we not. Nah, that's not me. Um, I don't I don't know if I've ever felt like my partners were inferior or superior. I've already I've always kind of felt I don't want to say equal because then that'd be a lie. But it wasn't to a point where like. I felt like I was better than them or they was like better than me. But do we have different things that we're good at or better at than each other? Like, yeah, I felt like that. Like, hey, this person is better at this than me. Or I might be better at this than this person. But I never felt like I should bow down to somebody. And I never felt like somebody should have to bow down to me. No, I feel the same way, though. Um, I was in a situation like that that, you know, at the moment, I felt like this person, you know, I shouldn't have to bow down, this and that. But when it was all said and done, I kind of got, dang, wish I would have took that route. Yeah. Because it would have changed me as a person. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, hmm. Oh, you did bow down? <coughs> no, nah, not at the moment. It. Oh. You know what I'm saying? But when it all fell, and now that I look back at it, I kind of wish that I, you know, kind of took that route because it would have made me a better person. Compromise. Compromise. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he did the compromise. Got you, got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He'd yeah. be like that. Sorry. Have you has holding on to your past ever affected someone you tried to connect with? I'll let you go first. Who? Me? <laughs> Anybody? Anybody else but me? <laughs> I'll let y'all first. go first. <laughs> wow. Somebody else. 
Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hold it on to your past. Yeah, because um, it's certain things that you are used to and programmed to. Mm-hmm. And then when you get involved with somebody new, like, you know, that's, you know, it's still in you. You know what I'm saying? And you're still trying to figure that person out that you, you know, just got involved with. So, you know, all of that factors in, you know, and I feel like, yeah, that, that affects you, you know. Because you, cause your past situation, it could have went down very sour and you still holding that burden on, you know what I mean? And it can affect your well, new what's, situation. What's one relationship you had where your past affected your relationship? Was one thing. Was um, one, what's one relationship? Like you was trying to talk to Vivica, but you was too hungover Jessica. How nasty she was in bed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if I give somebody like, new that, like, I enjoy, like, enjoy it still in my mind. Like, you know what I mean? I want that same nastiness. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I nasty, hold it nasty. and I held that new person <laughs> to that standard. You know what I mean? They were like, what? Hey, yeah, used to this. Good. Hey, used to that. You know what I mean? So, yeah. That, that's yeah. a good point. That's tough. That's, 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 a, good point. Point. that's a good point. You know that's a good point, yeah. though. I, I, want, I want your story now. The, uh, oh, we, we can't. Since you got a good point, I want you to feed it. That is a good point, though, because it's just like, that kind of goes back to what we shut up. That I ain't say shit. To, that kind of goes back see. to what we was talking about before, like when you comparing your relationships, right? So like, when when you going into a new relationship, I feel like it's you're bound to like bring something, whether it's positive or negative. You're bound to bring something from your last relationship, and so stuff like how good they are in bed, like mm-hmm. that person don't level up to that. Yeah, it's just exactly. like damn, like yeah. you might be good everywhere else, but it's like. Depending on how important, you know, sex and your sex life is to you, like that could be like a damn like something missing. I don't know if I I don't know if this gonna work out, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I ain't I ain't really got no no particular story. All I gotta say is whoever, because I'm single right now, but whoever oh, I the got next that. person single. is whoever the next person is, they better be nasty they, and bad. Mm, they got some stuff to live up to. <laughs> nigga. That's all I'm, you know, hey, it is what it is. She said she with that nasty. So nasty. can I ask you a question though? <laughs> what's up? What's nasty, up? Nasty. Do you think sex is a major factor in a relationship? Yes. So, it is. So, it is. So the sex- intimacy, Inti- intimacy. I'm okay. gonna say intimacy, not just sex, because. If you are really attracted to somebody, if you like really feeling somebody, you really love somebody, I feel like the sex can get there if it's not there. Like, but if you, like, y'all not as intimate, like, you're not, if your inti- intimacy is not there, then it's like the sex will never get there. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like you can, you can, you can help somebody learn how to please you correctly. That's what I think. What you, you looking like? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about um, that now. So what you think? You can coach. I, I, feel, I feel like sex is a factor, and you said uh, if you're in love with somebody, the intimacy will be there. Mm-hmm. But I have been in a situation where I love this girl so much that it was less than a minute in the bed. Oh no! I was too excited. Oh no! <laughs> I was too excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just I a whole you. lot of emotions there. So, you know what I mean? Hmm. If you're saying that it's all about intimacy yeah, and the sex don't really have to play a part, it got to go hand in hand. Yeah. Though. You know what I mean? There's other things. There's other things. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. Sex is important. But <laughs> there are other things, too. Like, <clears throat> when it comes to intimacy, when it comes to, like, conversation, when it comes to, like, how y'all communicate, how y'all bond, what y'all got in common, like, there's other things I feel like that that balance each other out. Like it ain't all about sex, but so it's the if it's, the intimacy is a one, but the sex is not there. Would you still deal with it? Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll give it a try. Girls give it a try. Out. Hold on. Hold on. I'll give it a try. I'm not sure. Capaholic. Like. If I love them, if I love them, if I'm in love with them, I love them. The intimate, the intimacy is there. Like then the sex will get there. It has to. There's no way. If you hella attracted to somebody, y'all love each other, y'all like in a relationship, y'all working together, like it has to get it has to get there. Can you love someone with a micro penis? If they know what to do with it, yeah. Um, a micro penis? 
If they know what to do with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, saying. I can go with that. You never count nobody out, ain't that's what he said earlier. You never count uh, nobody female. out. Never count a female out. Never count out. nobody out. There's has, plenty of supplements. Has anyone ever tried to change you <laughs> in a relationship? Like, oh, you better say I don't like your hair. I want it to be longer. Oh, you can't hang with those people. Let me hit the gym. <laughs> What? what? what I'm talking about like, options. These are all these possibilities. Are all, these are all possibilities. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like, ever change something about you? And if so, like, what's the biggest? Uh, I don't think nobody ever tried to change nothing about me, like how I am. Help me improve? Maybe. I probably didn't see it like that at the beginning. So, like, <clears throat> so like my last, my last relationship with my last ex, um. I know I look good, but I ain't always in the best shape. And so for me, like he kept, to me it was nagging, but it's just like he kept saying, hey, you need to get in the gym, you need to get in the gym. But at that point, it's like, that ain't, I don't want to be in the gym right now. Like that's not, that's not what it was. And so at that point, it kind of felt like, I don't know, it felt like nagging, but he he wasn't trying to change me. Like he just trying to help me get fit. What if he just, improve, like, he, he like an active better. lifestyle and he want his girl to live an active right. lifestyle. Right, so that's why it's just like, it wasn't no... It wasn't like he was trying to change me, so I don't know. Eventually, it happened. I'm in the gym. I mean, not now because I can't be consistent with nothing. But it is what it is. You hear that, fellas? She's single, but she can't be consistent with nothing. Let so. <laughs> me upset. She put up on you. I disagree with that. Though. <laughs> you don't think so? I don't think so. What's up? So <clears throat> when you said you think somebody trying to change you, like even as far as like. Saying that a person probably talked too much or a person cut you off while you talking or and you'd be like, that's just me. And he never came with no points that, you know what I'm saying? You need to do it like this, but this is how you normally go about it. I feel like everybody, everybody probably, been, if you've been in a relationship, I feel like. It was at some point in time somebody wanted to do something that you would do just, something different, yeah, like that you don't, exactly. you don't usually do. And but you is that, and you like, yo, this is just me, you know what I mean? But is that changing you though? Like to a, to an to extent, an extent, yeah. I got it. I mean, you don't necessarily be controlling change. Like, yeah, like, exactly. Like you say, like, yeah. If you don't clean as much, exactly. You can be like, yo, I, yeah. I, it's like, I like for it to be a little bit cleaner. Uh huh. Like, yeah. Got you. Yeah. Got you. Okay. Yeah. You put your you you keep your hair products everywhere now. Can we like keep them in one certain area? Got you. Or he'd be like, yo, I don't like makeup. I just want you to be want natural. You to... Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. That, that was okay. A big that thing made that me. made that made more sense. My okay. my. My uh my last ex, he was just you know, he wasn't into the makeup thing, so he just like, like I would prefer you didn't wear as much makeup, blah blah. blah. And I'm like, bet like that was but that's I feel like that's a that's a part of compromise. It's like I can do that. Like you ain't yeah. asking me to al alter my anything that I do, like wearing makeup that ain't nothing. Like I won't wear as much makeup. To cool, you, bet. It's not nothing. Yeah, to some me. Women, some, some women. women that's that's all life. they do. Yeah, they, okay. They love that makes clown sense. Shit. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying like, clown shit. oh yeah, clowns, correct I'm yourself, saying. correct yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying y'all clowns. Fix it. 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 Fix Fix it. 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 Fix you're not helping yourself. I don't give just, a fuck. Just cut that. <laughs> she's like, she's like you're digging. I don't care. <laughs> I think clown. I think cut it. Halloween type. Y'all put. Yeah. All you need, all you need is the red some nose. Some folks out there be doing the most. All you need is the red nose. Yeah. Yeah. All you need is the nose. The Joker smile. Some of y'all don't have eyebrows. And then some of y'all wipe that shit off and have like mad gone. black spots. And I'm like, queen. A Make long time ago, you could have stopped. Could have just loved stopped. yourself, and we, we we wouldn't even be here now. Yeah. That's just me, man. Shout out to the girl wearing makeup. A little yeah. foundation to highlight with the highlight the cheekbones, make them sit or whatever. That's cool or whatever, but <laughs> cheekbones sit. <laughs> the girls that come that go from this shade to this shade. Fuck out of here! Stop talking to me. That ain't Stop it, right there. Stop talking to me. That ain't it. Any last words, fool? Man, I just want to let y'all know. I just want all y'all to listen. Understand that. Um, I pick back what he just said. That makeup shit's not the move. Come on, <laughs> like I'm tired of. Like wait. Whatever. I see you <laughs> in the mall, one color, and then <laughs> no, right after I get I done beating you down. That. I don't get it. 
Yeah. And all of a sudden, I realized lie. you got What's acne, freckles, like, all this crazy shit. It. I have, it's just, it's, it's crazy. Here, mm-hmm. but your, your face up here be you got any final you. words for the people at home? <clears throat> Check out the show, Side News Services. This your boy, Dad, Daddy. Come on, Dad, boy. Yes, sir, that way. <laughs> And my only two words is trick responsibly. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't top that. I can't top that. It's your girl, Millionaire Kimmy T, man. Show my people some love. That's all I got. You got more than that. I ain't, I can't Whoa. top you. I can't top you. You got no advice. No advice. No advice. You you advice. advice. No advice. No advice. Be you. Be true to you. Get, That's like, all I got. We're going to get a small commercial from your company and play it at the end. Play it at the end. Got, got you. We're going to figure something out. <laughs> she don't know anything. Got you. You know. Hey, all my clown bitches out there. God damn. <laughs> uh, I love y'all, man. Don't know everything I know about y'all. I love all my queens. Especially the what? 250 plus. Uh, so love. Yo, yo. If you ever in a bad mood. Call you a side dude.